So we came and got fuel. Banner did a great job parking. And then we looked across and we saw our rigging guy, Steve and Andrew, over there doing some rigging. It was just on top of the mast, all the way up there. Hi! <laughs> You look good over there. Let's go to look, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> the second video even. We couldn't figure out how to get out of the dock, what was going on. When we were bringing it back in, we were scared to death calling everyone we knew to help find us. <laughs> and, and now, like, it's what, been, been a week? And we don't even call anyone anymore. We just back it right in, no problem. We're out here sailing like six and a half, seven knots, easy. Fishing two lines in the water, just relaxing. It's it's kind of crazy because it feels like it's been a long time, but it's really just been a week and like, I don't know, we've come so far. It's really, really fun to see the, see the progress so far. Speaking of how far we've come, I was trying to have Nelly take me over there so I could fish below that because sometimes, you know, I don't think the water like that is good for uh, fishing. Surprise, it's not in the water. We hit it so damn hard. Yeah. <laughs> Nelly's driving skills aren't very really good yet. <laughs> crazy but we just nailed it no problem walked it right in nobody was here we were supposed to have people here but nobody was yeah, here we thought we were gonna have people here but we came in a little bit before i think they were ready for us so we literally just did it completely by ourselves one guy walked up but we already had, we had, already had it finished. nailed yeah. yeah wow make a good team <laughs> Quite the long day, and I'm pretty hungry. Probably not in the best mood I've ever been in. But you know, that's why you get a really nice, beautiful girlfriend who's very strong. around with no pants on <laughs> like all the time and nobody thinks it's weird or bad so I'm staying here forever all right guys so and gals for those you don't know on sailboats most of the time the engine is in here so here's a little device I got just connected these tubes I'm gonna put this small one here I don't know if that's actually how you're supposed to do it but the other one won't fit into the dipstick holder and it's gonna suck out all the oil into this empty oil container. Hopefully. If it works. The views are a little sketchy on this thing, so we'll see. We've come to our first problem. It doesn't fit in the hole. That's what she 
even the small one doesn't fit. Oh, yeah, it does, yeah, it does. Oh. Barely. So he's using that empty oil can thing to put all the old oil into there. He has it in here, into the thing. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right, guys, so we have it, as she showed, all set up. Um, the dipstick through the pump over here. It's connected to the battery. Now we looked it up online, we couldn't really find, but we're pretty sure it's supposed to be two liters that are supposed to be in here. We pulled out almost three, so it had too much oil, which it's been leaking. Probably why it's been leaking. But all in all, this thing is great. It's 20 bucks on Amazon. It's made the oil change super easy. I still gotta pull the filter off, so not done yet, but it's usually way easier, or it's way easier than it normally is. Okay, so my dad sent us a bag and we just got it in today. It's an electric scooter and I've been assembling it all morning. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here's the beauty. Ah, oh, so beautiful. We're about to go take this. Woohoo! It's so fast. Woohoo! Thanks, P Dog. So, you guys saw that we got the scooter. And we were like, okay, let's take the scooter to the gym. The gym is like five miles away. The scooter's max range distance is 17 miles that it can go on a full charge. We decided that half a charge would get us there. Well, we're still a mile and a half away and this is what it's come to. Also, the scooter's max weight is 260 pounds, and we're both riding on it, and we're 285, so, yikes. We made it. <laughs> we did it. We did a two-mile scooter and a two-mile walk. <laughs> we're just taking a little break and relaxing. <laughs> Damn, that's impressive. Okay, so we just posted our third video, I think. Uh, when we started doing <coughs> our sailing vlogs, like when I first created the channel, I think we had like seven to 800 subscribers. And right now we're at 2,270. We are so, so, so like excited and like thankful. For everyone who's like subscribing and watching and liking, like it's making us so excited to continue this and to continue making videos. We are stoked. Stoked. We're like sitting here watching just like views go up and subscribers go up. It's, it's not like, that many, like it's really not that many right now, but like we're so excited. So like it feels like it might actually like, turn into something. Yeah. So keep following, keep liking, keep subscribing. We love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Um, I hope we can see continue to provide you with some sick content and when we're in the Bahamas it's gonna be even better it's so yeah better it's, and better and better yeah love you guys okay it is 6 30 in the morning Nikki got here last night um he's out there putting the scooter away but we are going to attempt to make it to the ocean today it is sunrise right now beautiful sunrise but Ben is journey to get to the ocean it is, yeah, it takes like four hours with perfect wind. <laughs> so, we're gonna see how this goes. There he is. Well, we made it out alive. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunrise, let me show you.
This is our best friend Nikki. Uh, Nikki, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Texas, just like uh, Rana and Nelly. Um, we're all little babies together. <laughs> yeah, where did we all meet? Uh, in Sherman. Oh no, actually in Dallas, yeah. Um, the first night that Rana and Nelly met, we, yeah. we, we met. I met Rana in high school. A tradition between the guys every time they see each other for the first time in a long time they ice each other resume How do you feel about this, Nelly? They just told me we're in an anchorage of explosives. I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. Look at this. Anchorage for explosives. Maybe we should follow that boat. They're going right through the explosives. That's it too? It's probably not a big deal, but also, what the... Okay, I'm having a lot of anxiety again. Um, we're out in pretty big seas. And we're about to go into the Skyway Bridge for the first time to go out to the ocean, but it was a lot. Explain to us what just happened. So, oh, it's pizza day. Oh, hell yeah, uh, Nikki. Uh, so we were trying to, we've been trying to make it under the Skyway Bridge forever, but like the wind never works out. Today we decided to send it. Like, we'll show you our track, but we literally had a headwind, so we just tacked and zigzagged the whole way got so close and we get there and the winds were probably 30 plus and we had two reefs in and then the swells got at least six feet maybe higher and it was not good we were fighting the entire time we're not good enough for that yet this i was trying to yeah so you can see we were doing really good. We were tacking and we almost made it the whole way there. And then it, it got, got a bad. Too intense for us at the end. That's okay. Nikki, what'd you think? Nice. We had a little bit of a hiccup. Um, uh, I was huddling the jib. Um, jib <laughs> sheet? <laughs> uh, we were trying to pull the, the head sail in, the Genoa. But we didn't realize Nikki was on top of the winch. And so we like couldn't get the head sail in because we're like, it was what the heck? Like 100 pounds of I'm gonna have lots of pizza and wine. Lots of wine. Lots of wine. Nelly got stressed. Nelly got was losing her absolute shit. <laughs> I was trying to stay calm and, and fix everything, and Nelly was screaming. Well, I'm trying to like 
let out the traveler because we're literally on our side and there's waves and it's just not good. But anyways, we're on our way back. Thank the freaking gods because my blood pressure is too high. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>